welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla Cosmos and this is my first ever travel vlog outside of Jimin Island. We are going to be heading down to Southern Taiwan where I'm actually going to be hopefully earning my diving certification as well as enjoying some of the most beautiful beaches in Taiwan. I'm leaving my computer at home for like the next five days. Oh, I'm just I'm so thrilled to just like step away from it and just like go and enjoy life and also learn something new and hopefully not die. If this video never makes it, you know what happened. Right now I'm in Kaohsiung. I'm about to head up to the train station where I can catch the bus down to my destination. Let's just, let's just go, yeah. <laughs> Packed to the nails for my five day trip, I headed to the Zhouying high speed rail station, which is easy to get to on Kaohsiung's red MRT line. Once you reach the station, go to the Kending Express ticket booth. The bus runs every 30 minutes, and you can pay with cash at the booth or on the bus with an easy pass like I did. <laughs> Because I wasn't heading into the center of Kending, but coming to dive, I had to get off the bus to transfer in Hongchen. Okay, so I've gone in Hengcheng and it's like 15 minutes until the bus leaves that I need to get on to go down to near um, White Sand Beach area. But in the meantime, I wanted to come out check out this gate that they have here, maybe try to get a picture. After snapping a few pictures, I took the 103 bus to my destination. Although the ride was beautiful, I didn't realize how far the bus stop really was from my hostel. After a hot walk, I finally made it to my hostel, the Blue Hole. Although I wouldn't be taking my diving classes here, it was a comfy place and they had a bonus. Beep, beep, beep. Hi. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. This is so amazing. I wasn't a fan of the umbrellas and like kind of how like more commercially it feels down here. But this water, I'm crying though. Oh, it's so beautiful, I'm crying. Oh, I'm kidding, it's just salty. Thanks for coming to the beach with me today, y'all. I really, really recommend this beach, especially if you are like a swimmer, because I hear some other beaches around Kenting can have like uh, heavy currents, and this this is mm. Mwah. perfect. Hi. For our first day, we headed to a resort with swimming pools to practice the essential scuba skills. This mask clearing skill was the most difficult for me. Here, I had to take off the mask for one minute, put it back on, and then clear the water from my goggles. 
When I first practiced this skill, I choked in the water a few times, but now I guess you could say I'm a pro. Next, it was time to gain some experience in some deep water. At the bottom here, we learned many new skills, but the one that's shown practice here is taking off my entire scuba set and then putting it back on. After all of this, we had some time to swim around for my first actual dive-ish experience, except without the ocean water. Hello, Eden. Hi. <laughs> it's so hot. I know, it's super hot. So we've got our little floaty thing and our finnies and stuff, and we're waiting for some people. My first ever dive into the ocean was terrifying and amazing. Once we reached the bottom, I practiced all of the lessons I had learned the day before. And after our review, I had my very first opportunity to swim around the ocean and experience it as I never had before. It was really the most amazing thing. I didn't enjoy the pool so much, but as soon as I got into the ocean, even though we went much deeper than we were in the pool yesterday, it was just amazing. And I was like wondering like, are the fish as curious about us as we are about them? Cause it's kind of like funny to watch this like interaction cause we're such giants compared to them. And Eden is so awesome. Um, even my GoPro, which does not have a buoyancy or connecting thing to me, which if we drop it, my GoPro is going to be gone. But anyways, we're going to go and learn some like book stuff and like more like classroom learning. And then tomorrow is our final two dives and our certi certification test. So. This is gonna sound strange, but if you've ever imagined what would it be like to be another fish in a tank full of fish, this, this would be it. Except instead of being in a tank, we are in this vast, wide, and almost endless ocean. After our final dives, we headed back to the dive center where I had some lunch and studied for my final exam. Woo! 
Hey, hey everybody. Welcome to my secret cove here on Baisha Beach. I keep saying it wrong, but you know which one I'm talking about. So as you were just seeing, I was studying for my open water diver certification final exam and I have some pretty disappointing news. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be spending as much time in Kaohsiung this summer because I am now an official open water diver. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna go under the water and swim. So basically, I like Kaohsiung, but I really enjoy Kending. It's definitely got like the most beachy vibes, I think, like tropical, like, oh my God. That's the life that I yearn for, 100%. And especially now that I have this certification, like it's an excuse for me to come down here more often this summer. Learning these past three days was amazing. Even though I'm like technically on vacation, I was working really hard a lot of the time. I love to swim. I love the ocean. I love just like this beach lifestyle. And although I knew nothing about diving before, I was always really interested. And that's why I decided to do this. I did my training here at the Taiwan Dive Center and they had an English course which was really ideal for me so I suggest that if you are a foreigner and you speak English or you're just looking for an English course in um, diving certification then the Taiwan Dive Center is the place to go in Taiwan. My instructor Eden was so so awesome like next time I come back and dive I'm gonna be like you're taking me diving because she's just awesome. Making this video has been such a fun time and I'm really, really grateful that I got to, you know, have this experience, make this video and share it with you all. So if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content about like my life in Taiwan and just like general Taiwan stuff, then make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace. And yeah, you got that right. I can't let go. As you can see, I just I can't stop holding my certification. It's my baby.